Good morning and welcome to Kids Rock for May the 2nd, 2021. I'm so glad you've tuned in to join me here for our worship space, our worship time together here at the church. Let's light our Christ candle as we begin. All right, and now I'll say, the Lord be with you, and you respond, and I'll say with you. Are you ready? The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this day when we can pause for a few minutes to worship you and learn more about how you want us to live. Bless our time this morning and give us ears to hear. In Jesus' name, amen. So today our story is about how we need to be connected to Jesus so that we will grow good fruit in our lives. So let's begin with the song, I want to be like Jesus, which reminds us of some of that fruit. Let's sing. enjoying it last night and you know one of my least favorite fruits is also a melon and it's a cantaloupe I have just never liked cantaloupe I'm not sure why but I don't like cantaloupe what about you pause me right now and talk about that with your family what is your le your most favorite fruit or one you really like and your least favorite or one you just don't like at all go ahead and share with each other about fruits and when you're all done sharing then go ahead and unpause me and carry on with our recording. All right, go ahead and share. Now one of the other fruits I quite enjoy is this one. Can you see what these are? This is a big, beautiful bunch of grapes. Now grapes come in beautiful colors, red and green and dark purple, almost a blue. I think 
my favorite ones are the red ones. That's the ones we usually buy in our house. Now, do you know anything about grapes? Grapes grow in bunches, on branches, on a vine, like you see in this picture. I have a picture here of green grapes growing in um, off of the off of the branch, off of the vine in a vineyard. And you can see how big those bunches are and how long they are. Now the branches are connected to the vines from which they get the nutrition that they need to grow. The only way that a branch can have fruit on it is for it to remain connected to the vine. What would happen if one of these grapes you know, fell off the bunch and it just lay there on the ground for a while? Lay it there in the sun. What would happen to it? It wouldn't be all big and fresh and juicy anymore, would it? In fact, it would kind of wither and shrivel up and it would become, it would become a raisin, wouldn't it? Can you see those raisins? Try and get them zoomed in. Instead of this big, beautiful break, you would have a little sad looking raisin. Now, raisins are good in oatmeal cookies. If you're like me and that's one of your favorite cookies is oatmeal raisin cookies. Or as a snack sometimes, but if I want a juicy fruit, I'm not gonna eat raisins. I'm gonna look for some nice, juicy grapes. You know what? In John 15, Jesus tells us that we are like branches on a grapevine. Listen to this verse. I'm going to read you John 15, verse 5. Jesus says, Yes, I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from, apart from me, you can do nothing. Jesus is the vine. We are the branches. And he wants us to stay connected so that we will produce good fruit in our lives. So, what does it mean to be connected to Jesus? What does that look like? To help you understand that idea a little bit better, I have another illustration I'm going to share with you right now. I brought this lamp in with me today. Now it's quite a new lamp. What does a light need in order to shine? It needs to be turned on, doesn't it? Okay, so let me just turn on the switch here. Let's see what happens. And not trip over my table. Uh-oh. Can you see? Nothing's happening. I'm turning the switch, and it's not coming on at all. Oh, dear. I wonder what the problem is. Ah. Uh, if, I, if you guys were here, I bet one of you would be calling out to me right now saying, Mrs. Yvonne, is it plugged in? Well, I thought I plugged it in. Okay, let me just check that. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't coming on. It's not plugged in. All right, let's see what happens when I plug it in. I know I've got the cord back here. There's a plug in. All right. Did you see what happened as soon as I plugged it? No, not right at the camera. You're right, you can see I'm shining it on my fruit, aren't I? And the lamp came on as soon as it was plugged in. It needed to be connected to the power source, didn't it? Well, you know what? That is what Jesus is talking about. When he says we need to remain or stay or abide in him, we need to be connected to him. A branch that's not connected to a vine is not going to produce fruit. It's going to end up getting cut off and thrown away and just used for firewood. It's not good for any, it's not good for anything except could be used as firewood. And in the same way, a lamp not connected to power is useless. Listen to some more verses from John 15 where Jesus goes on and he says this, verse 6. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away 
like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. But if you remain in me, and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want, and it will be granted. When you produce good fruit, you are my disciples. This brings great glory to my Father. Jesus wants us to produce good fruit in our lives. Fruit like kindness, gentleness, generosity, goodness, faithfulness. Most of all, he wants us to love others as he has loved us. But we can't do this on our own. So how do we stay connected to Jesus? I want you to pause me right now and talk about that with your family. What are some ways we can stay connected to Jesus? I'm sure you came up with some great ideas, things like prayer, talking to God, and listening to Him, reading God's Word, and studying it, participating in lessons and services, through church, just like you're doing right now. And most important, we realize that it is Jesus who is doing the work and producing the fruit through us. We don't have to do a special set of tasks or have enough faith. We stay connected to Jesus and we let the Holy Spirit grow its fruit in us. We trust in God and we rely on Him for all things, staying close to Him and thanking Him for giving us life and hope. Let's pray. Dear God, you are the vine of life. Help us stay connected to you. We are your branches. Help us grow fruit in our lives to share with others around us. Thank you for your love. We love you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I have two activity ideas for you today. First, a game to play together. You're going to create a vine. This is the vine game. So line up in a row, one behind the other, and then each person reach out and place your hands on the shoulders of the person in front of you. So make a line when you're all connected like that. And then move around the house going as fast or as slow as you like. The person in front gets to set the pace. Here's the challenge. Don't let go. Keep everyone connected on the line. And if you start moving too fast and somebody lets go and isn't connected anymore, then you have to stop and somebody else becomes a leader. Now I know that we've got, you might have tall people and short people in your family, so what you might want to do is the shorter people, you might want to put your hands on, you know, the waist of your mom or your dad in front of you, okay? Instead of on the shoulder, kids, you might not be able to reach your dad's shoulder. All right, and second, a family memory challenge. I don't think I've ever done one of these to you before, so here's my challenge to you this week. Now, one of the ways we talk about that we can stay connected to Jesus is through reading his word and studying it, our Bible. And a really great way to study the word is to memorize it. Now, I memorized a lot of words when I was a child. Verses that still come to my mind today at times when I need to be reminded of the great truths in God's word. I'm always amazed how part of a verse or verse will come back just when I need it. And I know God is using that word that I store in my heart and in my mind when I was a child. In fact, you know what? I memorized most of today's passage from John 15 when I was about 10. So here's my challenge to you today. One verse this week. Pick a verse or part of a verse from today's passage from John 15, 1 to 8. For example, John Chapter 15, verse 5, and it's going to appear on the screen right now. Write it down on a piece of paper. Put it up somewhere where you will all see it. 
And every day, perhaps at supper, when you're all together, say it together a couple times with everybody saying it together. And at the end of the week, you are all going to know that verse. And every once in a while, I'm just going to throw in another challenge. In fact, Wayne Burn, there might be one of these every week for you, a memory verse challenge. All right, let's talk about our response for today's story. In your response journal, I want you to write or draw whatever you feel like as a response to our story. How you're feeling or something you're thankful for may be a God sighting that reminded you of being connected to Jesus. Maybe you want to respond by drawing a picture of a vine or branches or grapes, or maybe you want to copy a verse from today's story, or maybe you want to do that memory verse, John 15, verse 5, or maybe you want to do a combination of all of those. It's your book. You do what you want to do in it. And I did that verse. I wrote out that John 15, 5, and I would like to use colored markers, as you can tell, um, if you've been watching me for a little while. I, yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. John 15, 5. And then I did a little picture. I doodled a vine all around the outside with leaves and grapes. And I'm bringing it in so you can see it better. There we go. And, and I had fun decorating my first page. Um, a picture in the first together my response to our story today my reminder that jesus is the vine we are the branches we need to stay connected to him and he will produce fruit in our lives and of course today's date may the second which i actually forgot to put on there so i'm gonna have to do that may 7th now as always there is a word search online uh based on john 15 1 to 8 and a picture that I found um, of Jesus talking to his disciples, and you can see across the top that the, the vine and the branches and the leaves and the grapes hanging down. Well, thank you for joining me today. Remember this week to be thankful that God is always with you and he loves you very much. Look for ways that you can stay connected to Jesus as you go through your week. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his face towards you and give you his peace. Amen. That's it for this morning. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye.